In this video, we will evaluate several absolute values. The absolute value of a number is a number's distance from zero, and distance is always positive. To indicate absolute value, we use vertical bars as shown here. In the first example, we have the absolute value of positive three. This is equal to the distance from positive three to zero. On the number line, here we have positive three, here we have zero, and we can see the distance from three to zero is three units, which indicates the absolute value of positive three equals positive three. Next, we have the absolute value of negative four. This is equal to the distance that negative four is from zero. Going back to the number line, here is negative four, here is zero. The distance from negative four to zero is four units, which indicates the absolute value of negative four equals positive four. Again, because negative four is four units from zero. Next, we have a negative absolute value of six, which can also be read as the opposite of the absolute value of positive six. Let's begin by determining the absolute value of positive six using the number line. Here's positive six, here's zero. The distance from positive six to zero is six units, which indicates the absolute value of positive six is positive six. But notice how we have the opposite of the absolute value of positive six, or negative absolute value of positive six, which means the opposite of the absolute value of positive six is equal to negative six. And finally, for the last example, we have negative absolute value of negative eight, or the opposite of the absolute value of negative eight. Again, let's first determine the absolute value of negative eight using the number line. Here is negative eight, here is zero. Notice negative eight is eight units from zero. This indicates the absolute value of negative eight is equal to positive eight. But again, our expression is the opposite of the absolute value of negative eight, or negative absolute value of negative eight, which is equal to negative eight. Notice how when there's a negative outside the absolute value, the result is always negative. I hope you found this helpful.